Hey everyone, I'm Alfred and welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. They probably wanted to keep the SNS uh, thing going, but I was thinking it might be fun if the next thing is called Salt and Mortuary. Okay, that hurt me. That one hurt. Sanctuary up. Oh, so you can get here. You can get to the sanctuary from the other way. Interesting. Ooh, I hit double digits. Cool. So can I... Okay. So what is this? Jump left now. I can kind of see... Ooh, yeah. Could I... Really, guys? Pronouncing this correctly, this term is Kure Moa. But that's just English for Claymore. Because in Japanese, you know... Oh my god, that's radical! Do a fatality on him! In Japanese, words that, you know, are loan words are written with Japanese words and, you know, vowels have to go between them and they don't have, like, C and they don't have L, just all R's. And so that's Claymore, but... Oh, this is where this is. Oh my god, look at this. This is so the place to, like, wall kick. Like, wall hike, you know? Do your Mega Man style wall jumping. Oh yeah, I peeked in here, but I was like, I wanted to cross the, the thing and go over there. The Watching Woods. <laughs> Sucker. So it looks like blowing people's guard open will let you fatality them. Hmm. Skull bat wings. It kind of reminds me of like Breath of the Wild, where her, like everything drops a crafting item, and you can always be sure that you're gonna get some fun new thing to craft with. Whoa, he's like moving. He's like a uh, Nightjar. I guess this predates Nightjar. I wonder if Miyazaki has seen this game. <laughs> yeah. Nice. What? Blobs. This is a bad move. Okay, so they don't have a lot of health. Oh man, the way that the gore is just sprayed onto the stuff behind. They have a lot of defense. Okay. I can manage that. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I'm just trying to get out, guys. 
Believe me, nobody wants me to be out of your hair more than me. I'm going to run back. I'm down. I got no more of my juices. Boink. So, it was over there. Nice. Bright coral ring. I have lost a lot of salt. Oh, man. Honestly, it kind of works that you would have the, like... Damn it. Fall. Trap here. Trap ahead. See, it looks like you can get to this location from the other side. Is it through here? Dude. Chill. I like helm sputtering on dudes. For reference, the reason I refer to that move as helm splitter is because that is the name given to it in Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry invented a lot of action game like terminology and ideas. Yeah, come on over. Sucker. Um and so, like for some people, the first time they heard about certain things like that was because Devil May Cry did it first. Oh, you shoulder bash through them. That's radical. Sorry. Pardon my silence, I'm just focusing on hardcore. Just trying to find my blood money, guys. Uh Antidote. A bullwhip. There it is. Please stop. Okay. Oh god. What's in here? Man, this this game does not stop. I just I just keep finding new stuff. Oh my goodness. Bottle went away. He does his little bar of pukes. Oh, you gotta get off me, bro. Damn it. That's okay. Poison cytoplasm. Okay. Like, the thing that is really annoying is that I know that if I can get back, it'll be a lot easier next time. Because, like, I feel like I can definitely get at least a level off of that salt. Bigaboo. Sucker.
What's in here? Oh, right, this thingy. So I think this um, does the thing that uh, Hollow Knight did after this. Oh god. But I think if you quit out, you get brought back instead to um, a sanctuary. Get off me, bro. Dude. very least that is done dude they're called vile hawks huh I uh, I'm feeling I feel bad about that one that one hurt me Well, I guess I know what's out that door then. There isn't a map of this game, is there? Guys. Did I get the other guy too? That's cool. Got the Sonic Underground theme song stuck in my head. It slaps, but like, it kind of annoys me, but that's fine. Every time. Dude, I thought I was being so smart. I was like, all right, I'm going to sneak by it. And then no one's going to be able to stop me. I'm trying not to get too, like, cut up about the fact that I just lost, like... Like, in the last little bit, like, I lost a lot of salt. Oh, this is that place. Nice. Like, this is a very minor thing to talk about, but, like, the fact that even... Ah, uh, there's a shortcut over there. So... Rolling speed and willpower. What's this? Item find. I don't really need that. So why not put that on? Stone cleric. Okay, I think I already have a cleric at the other base, so. Maybe you're supposed to do that so you can have like a second. I mean, yeah, you're probably just supposed to. <whistles> Cleaned. Bronze knight. Bronze isn't even that strong of a metal. I mean, I guess it's all right. It's like, what is that, three or four on the Moe's? Am I, like, losing points or something because I'm not at my... Like, my preferred religion? Oh, yeah, I talked about this a little bit last time, but, like, the idea of, like, a religion devoted to the power of humankind and the ability to survive in a every time in a world dangerous 
without the use of a god's help or magic is cool to me. So where's the trap? Oh, he stepped in it. Okay, I guess I'll just remember it's over here then. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. You love to see it. Yes. <coughs> Pardon me. Faithful ring. Increases your damage to arcane. The, the R on the Y, like when it says your, is written so faintly and lightly that it really looks as though someone is saying you. Like, increases you defense. Huh? Hmm. Shield, great use. Crazy sword slash. I understand. I can't leave, can I? Nope. Now, I've got a real problem here because I can't get out of this arena to go bank my stuff. Unless we give this a shot. Old Dark Souls standby, you know? Let's see, huh? Kind of weird that it drops you in on continue every time. Sucker. So what are you doing? Oh, you're the... Okay, so I guess NPCs just run in. Let's see if I can't get some upgrades then. I feel good about wearing this. Like the fashion is good. Okay. Let's find out where I'm a dip. Wait, like, really? Like, just straight up? <laughs> okay, that, uh, that changes things. I feel like a ninny for not grabbing that earlier. That's a really good ability. Sorry, I didn't get that cool kill. I was focused on the bonk. So, I think I remember... I want to put points into using the Kude Moa. Just because that's such a fun, silly name. Okay, so when you're moving away from that, it's not so bad. I love this game. I love my little dude. Like, I feel like this game kind of got, like, talked over because, like, it came out when Dark Souls was still, like, regularly airing, basically, you know? Like, Dark Souls was still coming out, like, every couple of years. Like, what were we waiting on? This was after two, at least, I think. And I want to say it was 
while we were waiting on Bloodborne. Hello, friend. Okay. Lock of hair. Wow, those are expensive, huh? I made a choice on getting those instead of getting salt, but that's okay. Salt's not a too high of a priority because I might lose it, so. Here's that pillar again. They must do something, because otherwise I wouldn't see the same pillar more than once, right? This is that shortcut. Okay. Okay. So where's upgraded um, sword? Right here. I can almost get there. Let's see. I've, I've never used a bundle of salt. Two fifty. Okay. Don't think that I'll have enough for another one, but maybe we can go adventuring. I haven't been out here. Wow. <laughs> Am I seeing a fucking party over here, guys, or what? Was I supposed to come to this area earlier, do you guys think? I mean, oh, another heater shield, good. I sold my one and I was kind of not sure about that, just for the sake of having completion. I'm gonna replay this game. I mean, I feel almost bad that I'm like just playing it raw. Like this is the kind of game that I could see myself coming back and being like, yeah, so anyway, I've played this game like 30 times. Here's what you do, you know? Like, uh, Morrowind's kind of like that, but Dark Souls is definitely like that. Ooh, boy. You're a big fella. All right, sorry, I was overpowered by the bonk. Let me look at the Kudemoa. S and C versus S and E. Ooh. Oh, it's a class one greatsword. That changes things. Unless the uh, sword skill is just Raider's Targe and Harness. That's cute. Kind of femmy. Helm sweater from hell, dude. I can see myself wearing this. Dude, chill. It is alright. I want to get a good look at myself wearing it. Oh, there we go. Shows off my man cleavage pretty well. So does that. I do like this. I love a good cape. Dark Souls 2 made a big deal about the new fabric tech, and like, yes, it includes better cape tech. And so, like, Majula always has a, uh, That's, that's funny. So what about these? Blacksmith gloves. So much less, but a third the weight. 
and I can go adventuring in my boots. I'll rock with this. I kind of love like a good like straight line. Infan inf infantry pole axe. Sorry. Um, it's a pole axe. Okay. Oh, like a halberd. Yeah. A pole arm and an axe. Together at last. Chocolate and peanut butter, you know? Jars of warm white liquid. Chain coif. The hell happened? Did it burn out? So maybe seeing something here. In Dark Souls 1, there's this thing where every person who you can play as is real, you know? Like, oh yeah, there's a little bar on it. Okay, that looks like a shortcut elevator. I haven't figured out how to use yet. But every person you can play as is real. So like, you know, you can choose to play as the knight, the barbarian, the hunter, you know, all those classes. Oh, well, well. This is the end of the road for you, friend. Memory serves me right. The obelisk is your door to the castle. Key is a different story. Search the area below the seaside ruins where a feast festers. Goes to help, helps to go back to the start. But you started off this island. Can't go back there. Keep my high slash defense on. So, I assume he's telling me to go back to the festering banquet. Hmm. It's going to be great coming back here later. And that's the third obelisk of that type that I found, by the way. Pop a quick 500. <coughs> Tree of skill. Class two swords. Two hand class two great swords. Oh, so I can use class two swords and class one great swords. Interesting. Yeah, that's a interesting mechanic. I I do always That's a handsome sword. I'll leave those off for now, because got a lot of work ahead of me. But yeah, I, I always liked how in Morrowind, um, you know, your your stuff isn't split into one-handed weapons or two-handed weapons. And the short sword skill, short blade skill, covers both. Oh, yeah. The short blade skill covers little daggers and things as long as short swords and even some like, you know, medium or like arming swords. And then the long sword skill covers anything bigger than that, which can mean, you know, like just the kind of sword that you would use on horseback to something as huge as like Like a huge, like, great sword Zweihander. Praise the merchant. And, like, the axe is always just an axe. Because, like, you know, you're not going to... 
get too much different using an axe one way or another. But yeah, I always like that idea, and I like the... I think I like the way that the weapons are used, where, like, swords are swords, but you have to specialize in a certain types of swords. Oops. Oh, yeah, you can punch. I assume that doing that is electing the way pain, though. Hair. All right. <coughs> so let's compare here. Kure Moa. It's 1438 SC. That's 12. And this is 1014 EC 5. This is a lot heavier. I put more points into this. Wow, it's crazy how this looks small to me now. Though I think all of the like weapons in this game are like kind of exaggerated. Just cause of the like style. Oh yeah, I haven't even tried this. Interesting. So it looks like this normal damage is a little lower. So there's also probably, man, I just realized like there's a mechanic. Yeah. Big ol' helm splitter. Yeah, there's probably a mechanic where, like, some of these will be unclaimed and some of them you can, like, get a hold of. So, where do these go? These are all magical. Daggers, bows, willpower, dex, archery. And these look all, like... Yeah, these are all magical. Okay. And these are all... Marksmanship. Oh man, but out here is like more potions. Interesting. And then this, more potionry. And daggers, yeah. And then this is swords, we looked at that before. And then this is huge barbarian warrior. And heavy armor. These have a lot of flavor text. Wow. So what's this then? Ah, uh, cleric and wisdom. That makes sense. And then these are just parts of that, I guess. Interesting. Oh, I can get another one soon as well. I need that much salt. So let's see what we're going with here. Lock of hair. Day more. Still lock of hair. Interesting. So what does this look like when upgraded? 1115. Hmm. Like, I love the look of this thing more than this, but, like, I do love a Claymore and its moveset.
All right. I'll rock with this. I can probably just kill like a bomb or a zombie or something out here. Oh, there's a chest up there. Salt pouch and uh, some health. So he told me to go all the way back out to the beginning. I don't know if that means back to the first area. Because he did also mention going to the festering thing. Oh man, will more people wash up here? That would make sense. Godspeed, great soul. Nice. What is this? Pest mud. Toxic pest mud. Poison your weapon. Okay. Let's make one of these, huh? I want to write left. Hmm. I wanted to write only left, only water. Maybe I'll just write water. It is weird how they've organized this. Oh man, they don't mention water? They've got ziggurat in here, but not water. I could see this having like a kind of piracy theme. I could understand if they didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, this game is a parry system as well. I often hear people talking about like magic systems and how they're like nightmares to balance and that seems to be the case. Because magic in Dark Souls, except for maybe two, and even that's like a little... Uh, Magic in Dark Souls is either completely busted and borked. Or it's... really underpowered. Like, I mentioned this last episode, but the best way to play Dark Souls 3 is... to... pick the knight, and then later, when you get the chance, put on some rings. And then put points into health and strength, and that's it. Like, your roll is already good enough, your armor is good enough, your sword is good enough. So as long as you're upgrading it, which, like... Like, as long as you're just upgrading stuff, you don't even need to, like, change anything that comes on your default character. You just need to, um... I put this? You need to, like... Right. Should I consider that? Let's go back and get that upgrade. I think there is another uh, thing upstairs, though, so... Oh, yeah, I was here. This is the thing that I was thinking of. Yeah, in Dark Souls 3, like, the best way to play is to pick the knight and then never change. Um, and, like, magic is severely underpowered as a direct result of that decision. Oh, can I just drop here? I'll sit. I'll sit at the bonfire. Um, but in, like, Demon Souls, like, the original one on PS4, or PS4, PS3, yeah, the ancient console known as the PS4, um, like, 
magic is so completely busted and borked in that game. And granted, there's a lot of the game that's busted and borked anyway. Wow. It is a long sword, my man. I do. Oh, hold on. I want to upgrade this. This takes two locks of hair. Well, what about this? This takes two as well. That is an acceptable use of my hair locks, though. I like swinging this thing. Too bad I use those other ones, but I think most of the um, items in this game are like infinite. Uh, like, not maybe purely infinite, but you can keep buying more. Ha. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hell, dude, just hell yeah. An exceeding number of hell yeahs. Look at that damage. Goodness. Oh, God. <laughs> You know what? That might be a good place to cut the episode. Um, I'll go. I'll run and go get those off screen. Uh, and next time we're going to go take some attempts on that boss, huh? Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys later. I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. I hope everyone's having a good day. Bye.